welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, if you're new here. So today for Vlogmas, we're doing something a little bit different. And this video might be a little bit out of order as far as like chronological order goes. Um, because I would like to get these gift ideas. This is what I got people in my life. Um, and I would like to get them up with at least a little bit of weekend where you can run out and grab some stuff um, if you, you know, found an idea that's going to work for you. So we're just going to jump right in because I think it might be kind of long. Um, I'm going to kind of show you what I got everybody and then I'm going to wrap a few things and I'll kind of show you how I do it. There's some things that aren't finished so I won't be able to wrap, um, but I have um, some wrapping stuff that I got. So I'll show you guys that as well. We're doing super simple wrapping. Um, but first I wanted to show you my mom got me as a birthday gift, a weighted blanket. It's 15 pounds and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I need to get this out so I can sleep with it tonight. But I have wanted one for a while. Um, it's supposed to, it can help with anxiety. Hutch is in the litter box. <laughs> mm. um, it can help with anxiety, it can help, it's supposed to help you like sleep deeper. Um, and I don't like to be too hot at night, but I feel like I often end up really hot because I have to layer blankets in order to like feel comfortable. Like I need that weight of the blanket, if that makes sense. Like I can't sleep with a sheet. It's like, it feels like there's nothing. I don't know. So I'm thinking that the weighted blanket is going to be the answer to my prayers. Hopefully I can't wait. I'm super excited about it, but I wanted to show you guys that before we get too far into it. So we're gonna start with my family. So my mom wanted a food processor. So I got her this one from Target. Um, it was on sale for like $49.99. Usually it's $59, so it was $10 off. Um, so I did get her that. She basically asked for a food processor, a large one. That was the one that I could find at Target that was in my budget and was the largest, um, like holds the most and did the most. So that's a Hamilton Beach one. Um, and then I got her something that she didn't ask for that I thought was cool. It's a, well, it says Onion Chopper Pro, but it's one of those vegetable choppers where you just put like the vegetable on like the grate. There's different cuts and then you just punch it down and it all falls into the clear part of the bowl. And then you have all your vegetables chopped. You don't have to get a cutting board or a knife. You just have one thing. And I just thought that was cool. And this comes with a few different things and like a cleaning brush. So I got this one on Amazon. I'll link it for you down below. I want to say it was like $20. Um, so I did get that for her. Just so I think that that is helpful. It's kind of a good kitchen staple. And then I couldn't really help myself. My mom loves these little like gnome things. And I saw this at HEB, which is a local Texas store here. And it was only $4. It's a wine stopper like a wine cork and it's a little gnome and it's green and I just couldn't say no I thought that was a perfect little like extra stocking stuffer type gift for my mom so I did pick that up for her I'm actually gonna wrap it back up so it doesn't break okay moving on for my dad so I've already shown this I don't know oh we gotta hurry because my battery's dying um actually just I think I have a charger here somewhere anyways I've already shown what I got my dad in another video and I'll probably keep it in there because it was like part of my day, but um, I'll go ahead and show you guys too. So I got this toiletry bag uh, off of Amazon. My mom got him a brown leather suitcase, like a travel bag that he could take on planes. He travels pretty much weekly. So um, she, we kind of coordinated and me and my sister, our gift to him is the uh, toiletry bag. My sister has other stuff that she's getting for them from us too. So we kind of just split it up on who's gonna buy what. Um, but I got this one because I liked that it opened like a flap instead of you have to like pull it open to see what's inside. And I just thought this was easy so he can keep it open whenever he's traveling. Um, so in here, I just got some shampoos and conditioners. I got his deodorant that he uses some little flossers, a lint roller, some Tums, just like a good thing to have that you don't always have when you're traveling, Listerine, a toothpaste, a big one, a new toothbrush that he can keep, also a little two-pack of the toothbrush like covers. I also got him a phone charger, 
and I had to buy the little box separate. So there's a charging cord in here as well and just stuff it all in there. And I also did something really similar for my boyfriend's um, birthday as well. So this is a great gift. Obviously I use this for the minute in my life. You, you know, maybe can't do it every year, but every other year, maybe you can do it every year, depending on how much they travel and how much they use it. But I just think that this is so perfect and really great for anyone, a brother, an uncle. It's, you know, it's great. And even women, you'll see, I kind of have a theme of like filling things up. That's what I like to do for gifts. So moving on. Okay. We'll do my boyfriend's mom. So we are spending, me and my boyfriend Morgan are spending Christmas with his family in Louisiana this year. So it'll be my first Christmas with them. I'm really excited and I wanted to get them um, a few things and me and Morgan, he's getting them more of like the bigger expensive, you know, more expensive gifts, gifts that they asked for. Um, but I wanted to get a few little things as well and we'll combine and it will be, you know, a big gift from us. So that is the goal. I'm gonna get her, where do I start? Okay, so this I bought, this is sort of like a gift for everybody. Um, it's called What Do You Meme? I bought it so we can bring it with us. Um, I actually bought it from Target at first. I don't know what the difference is. You'll see, I bought two because I'm gonna return one. So this is the one I got at Target. This is the one I got at Home Goods. The one at Target was like $25 or $29. This one is from Home Goods and it was $14.99. So I'm gonna keep this one because it was cheaper. The only difference is it says mostly uncensored on the cheaper one. I don't, it just says, contains no profanity. However, due to mild adult themes and language, viewer discretion is advised. So I don't know if this one, I might Google it before I return just in case this one is like the kid's version or something or, you know, but it basically, other than that, it is the same. So we'll see, but I got this, thought that would be fun for everybody to play. Uh, there's no like kids really. So I thought that would be a fun game. Uh, then I got her, I don't know why I'm showing you this in the bag. Like, you know what this is. Okay. So this is I actually just got it in the mail today. Ordered it from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And, um, it's a jewelry case. I was trying to figure out what I was going to get her. And I noticed, um, she always has fun earrings, like really pretty earrings on. And so I thought I would get her some earrings from my favorite boutique. They have the best earrings. It's local. So there's no point in mentioning what it's called, but, um, I was like, okay, earrings, but like, you know, what else? Like I need something to go with it, to sort of supplement the gift. And I was kind of browsing through Amazon and I saw something that was like, triggered me to be like, oh, a jewelry case. That's perfect. So that is what this is. It's a traveling, it's just a travel case envelope style for your jewelry, to organize your jewelry. She's going on a trip at the end of December. So I thought this was extra perfect, but you can put your rings on here or your bracelets. This is actually for your earrings. It has little dots where you poke your earrings through there. So they hang. This is sort of where you would put like your hoops. This is more for like studs. Um, extra space down here. And then this is also a flap. So you flip that up and you can do uh, necklaces right here and they go through and sort of hang down in here and you can just clasp them up at the top. And I just thought that was pretty good. There's also a zipper pocket here. Oh. Oh, and it goes up here. I was like, does it go very far? So that goes up here. So lots of space and just a good way to organize your jewelry. Um, I think this is cool. And I love anything that helps me stay organized and just having like cases um, that I can travel with. Whenever I'm traveling, I always have to like throw stuff in random bags. And this, I feel like is just kind of a good staple to have, honestly. Wish I had one for myself. But this is a great gift. I feel like it's really thoughtful. Pair it with some jewelry. Um... And really any like girl that know, that likes accessories, I feel like will find use in this. So that is what I got for her. I'm pretty excited. I was really unsure of what to get her. Um, and I feel like I'm glad that I kind of waited to find like the perfect thing. I feel like this is, um, this is going to be good for her. I hope, I hope that she likes it and I think that she will. So I got that. Um, and then I got, it just fell. Where did it go? Oh. 
So this is more of a, a stocking stuffer. I'm doing little stockings for Morgan, his sister Anna, and then her, her uh, their mom. Uh, but I got a portable charger. So this was $10 at Tuesday morning, and I just thought that everybody needs a portable charger. This comes in handy for everything and everybody. It's a good thing to keep in your car. Um, if your phone's going to die and you're going to be at a restaurant or you're going to be out with friends or at a concert, this is a good thing to have. Um, and so I just thought this was perfect, and I got the one in pink. Okay, so I'm gonna do uh, my boyfriend's sister next. She is in college and asked Morgan for makeup. So he's getting her like some specific stuff that she wanted at Ulta, um, more like higher end makeup items. So we're gonna go shopping for that this weekend. But I went ahead and got her a few things just from me. Well, it'll be from us, but you know, I picked it out myself. Um, so I got this and this is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. This I might have to return and order a different one. But for the sake of the video, we'll just keep it in and I'll link this size down below. Um, I think that they had multiple sizes, but this is just a makeup bag. It's a nice sort of black, you know, leather material. Um, the inside is sort of this like satiny white, really pretty. Uh, but I got her this, and the idea was, it is nicely packaged, though. It comes in this nice little box. So I will link this one for you down below. But the idea was that we were going to put all of the makeup and stuff in this box. So just to breeze through this, I showed um, all of this stuff before. But I got her a few things. So I got her a mini um, dry shampoo just kind of take with you in your makeup bag. I got her this face mask. I feel like the lighting in here is not good, I'm sorry. I got her a hair, is this hair mask? Yep, a hair mask. I couldn't remember if it was face or hair. I got her a hair mask, a face mask. My favorite primer, this one has SPF in it. It's by Milani, it's called Prime Protect. One of my favorites, such a staple because you wanna uh, usually put on a primer before you put on your makeup and it has SPF, so you're doing like double duty protecting your skin and keeping your makeup on longer. I also picked her up this Pro Fusion Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. This is the palette I use every single day. I have used it every single day since I got it. It was a random Walmart purchase like two months ago, and I'm obsessed with it. It's like $6. I don't know how you beat that. It's sort of like a naked palette dupe, and I'm obsessed with it. Um, I found this one at H-E-B, but like I said, the first time I bought it was actually from Walmart. And it's just a good neutral palette. I know the lighting sucks, but it's just a good neutral palette. Sort of does the light tans, and then it goes into some gold, um, sort of a, a reddish, and, and then a brown shimmer. And then a few darker mattes, black, like a dark burgundy, that kind of situation. Then I got her this really cool bath bomb. I just thought that was too cute, so I got her that. A makeup sponge by Real Tex Techniques. This is a good little stocking stuffer as well. And then um, just a hand sanitizer. That's always a good thing to keep in your makeup bag. So those are the things to go in her makeup bag. I might have to buy a new one, like I said, because I didn't realize that one was gonna be so little. My cat is right here attacking the bag. Um, so we will have to, you know, maybe double check that. So for Morgan, which is my boyfriend, I'm just going to post photos because I haven't opened the box. It's so big. Haven't opened it yet. And it, I'm worried that I'm going to break it. But basically I got him these big frames. I think they're 11 by 14, but they're matted. So you put eight by 10 photos inside. Um, he always wants more photos. He said for Christmas, he wants more framed photos. So that is what I got. This time, instead of the ones that you like, you know, have the little easel style, I got him some that we can hang up on the wall. Um, he said he wanted pictures of me, picture, not like just of me, of us, um, pictures of the pup, and then I'm gonna do some of his family as well. Um, I've been texting his mom trying to get some good photos. So I need to get that one printed, and he can either, you know, hang them separately or put them all in a row or in a collage or something like that. Um, and I just thought that was sort of, something you can switch out often. They're neutral, so they match pretty much any decor that he'll ever have. Um, and yeah, I just think that was a cool little gift. So I got him that, and then I got him a really funny mug. I hope you're not easily offended, but it's basically a dog giving the middle finger, like a little outline of a dog giving the middle finger, and um, it says, fetch this, which is funny, one, because 
we have a puppy. He has a puppy. And it doesn't really fetch very well. And Morgan always wants to play fetch. And he doesn't do it well. It's more of like a tug of war. Um, and I constantly steal my boyfriend's mugs when I go to work. And then I forget to bring them back. So it's like double duty. Here's an extra mug for your collection. And it's hilarious. So that is what I got for Morgan on top of stocking stuffers, which you will see here in just a second. Um, oh, yeah. I did get him some... I'll show you some of the photos that I've chosen. Okay, so this one I took, and I haven't shown him this photo. He's never seen it. I took it of his dog. This is our little baby Chance. So I got this one. I also got printed this one when we went to Baton Rouge for the LSU game. How pretty with the fall leaves. I just thought that was such a good one to have on the wall. I printed this one that I took of him and the little puppy right as we got him. It was probably a month after we got him. Uh, maybe two months, but this picture um, of them looking at the beach when we were down at the coast. I don't know that I'll use all of them. Probably those three for sure. I don't know that I'll use this one or not, but this is such a favorite photo, like one of our top favorite photos. Um, I just don't know if it's like eight by 10 frame. I think it might be like a little frame style. I don't know, but this is us and the puppy at the beach. And then this one was just horrible. It turned out horrible quality, so this is not going to go in the frame. I don't know if y'all can tell. Um, the photo on my phone is actually beautiful quality, so I don't know why when I got it printed it turned out horrible, but it actually looks pretty good on camera. In person, it's really pixelated. So that's us at the Luke Combs concert, which is the concert he surprised me with tickets to uh, for my birthday. So there's that. Um, moving on. Okay, so stocking stuffers. I got some stockings. So I picked up these two. These are gonna, whoops, these are gonna be for his mom and his sister. Um, they are the from the Target Dollar Spot, they are five dollars a piece. I'll probably add a little tie a little something with a letter so we know who's is who's. And then I got this one for Morgan. I don't know that it's necessarily more boyish, but I thought it was pretty cute. Um, $5 for that as well. For his mom and his sister, I got them these little dollar, they were dollar socks at HEB. And they feel really soft. They're just like normal fuzzy socks. Fuzzy socks are usually inexpensive, but I just thought for a dollar, you couldn't say no. Really soft, great to wear with boots or just around the house. So I got red and black for them. I got a couple random candies that I'm going to split up between all three stockings. So I got the Santa marshmallows, these little like Santa chocolates. And then I got each of them one of these Russell Stover assorted chocolate boxes. So I got a Santa, a penguin, and a snowman. And they're all the same, just assorted chocolates. So I got those. Then for Morgan specifically, I got him Snickers trees. Um, he loves Snickers. I specifically love the Reese's trees. And so I feel like surely Snickers trees, you can't go wrong there. So that is most of like the candy that I got. Then I ran over to Target and I got a few more things. So for Morgan, I got him these uh, car fresheners. He always likes to like clean his car um, his work truck and he like goes really intense detailing it at the car wash. So I just thought that was kind of like an easy gift that makes your car smell good since he always washes his car. Um, and then I picked up these little kits in the travel section at Target. It's just an all purpose like nail kit. So it's got a file, some tweezers and then two sets of nail clippers. Um, and I just think this is just such a little staple to have. And I think, I didn't open it when I was there, but I think that it comes in a little pouch. Yeah, so it comes in, oh, it comes in like a pouch like this. I guess it's open. I didn't think it would be open. Um, but I might take out the, this thing because it looks ugly. And then cut off the top just so it's a little clear pouch that is a little more, you know aesthetically pleasing but I got one of these for his sister and his mom I feel like that's a good a good little thing to have so you can throw in your purse or keep it home um things that you don't necessarily always buy yourself but like everybody kind of needs it 
And then I think everything else in here is actually mine. Yep. Okay, so just for myself, here's a little haul. I got myself this mascara because I needed a new one, and I've seen a lot, of, a lot of people post about this one. So it's the, who even makes this? Oh, L'Oreal. Voluminous Lash Paradise. I think that's the one. I don't know. I got some little tissues for my car. I got a couple travel items for the trip. A shampoo and conditioner. A body wash. I'm sure they'll have that stuff, but just in case, I just want to have my own to be prepared. And then a little toothpaste to throw in my bag. So that is my little travel stuff. Then the last thing that I'm going to show you is the um, thing that I got for my like, it's not really, I guess it's a secret Santa. We did, well, it was supposed to be where you stuff socks. It's a sock exchange. You buy Christmas stocks. You stuff the Christmas stocks. Why do I keep saying stocks? You stuff the Christmas socks with um, things that they like. Everybody filled out a questionnaire. We drew like anonymously. You don't, you don't tell anyone who you got. Basically, everybody tells everybody except for the person they got. So like everybody knows that I have her except for her, if that makes sense. Um, so Everyone has already, a lot of people have already put their stuff under the tree. Our sock exchange is actually tomorrow and nobody just did socks. People did like gift baskets and big stockings and clearly the sock thing was taken lightly this year. So I went ahead and went and, went and got this like silver tin and I'm going to use some of this red, sort of like a paper ribbon, if you will. I got this at Tuesday morning. It was $2.99. I'm going to use this for all of my Christmas presents this year with like a brown uh, craft, you know, craft style paper. It's going to be cute. Um, sort of like a butcher. Hey, no, sir. No. Um, so I'm going to wrap this around it and then add a little Christmas tag just to keep it Christmassy. Um, I could use my Cricut to like put her name on it, but I don't think that, I think she could reuse this for something if I don't make it like a permanent Christmas thing. So we're just going to add some ribbon and a cute little tag. I also got these at Tuesday morning. Um, as you can see, there's a ton of different ones. So I'll pick one of those. Okay. I don't know where to start. So I got her this mug. She always carries. So we have like Yeti tumblers like these for work. I don't have one, but a lot of people have them that has like our company name and then uh, their name etched below it. She always has it. She pretty much uses the same one every day. So I thought it would be good to have like a secondary Yeti cup. Um, she carries like her iced tea around constantly. And so I thought just having a second one if her other one is dirty. Then with that, I got her some reusable straws. These are from Tuesday morning. This is from Home Goods actually. Uh, these are $4.99. There's two different shapes, the bent kind, the not bent kind. And I wanted to get the ones that were silicone so that they fit down in here and can bend because this has like the coffee style opening. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that that would work. She also is all about recycling. She is like the recycle um, manager at our, uh, at our work. She makes sure that everybody puts things where it's supposed to go. She collects cans, like all of it. So I thought that was kind of fitting for her. I also got her a little bottle of Captain Morgan because that is her uh, drink of choice with some Diet Coke. So I got her a little bottle of that. These are the Christmas socks that I picked out. I thought those were so cute. I found these at Tuesday morning as well. $3.99, really cute. Then I think the rest is candy. Okay, so she said that she liked dark chocolate almond M&Ms. I Googled it and cannot for the life of me find where those are at, who sells them, if they even exist. So I got her dark chocolate M&Ms and almond M&Ms. I'm just gonna tell her, eat them together. And there you go. Dark chocolate M&Ms. I couldn't find it. Then at Home Goods, I did find dark chocolate almonds. So hopefully that's like the same thing, right? So I did pick her up those as well. And then I got her one of the Russell Stover um, assorted chocolates again. Uh, this is just a, a different, I was gonna say a cuter, a different style box. So I got that. Then to fill the bottom, I did this green, you know, filler. What do you even call this? Crinkle shred um, to put in the bottom of the basket. So that's pretty much everything. 
Um, you'll notice that I will, I guess if you don't really know me, you don't know this, but I have a sister. Me and my sister have decided not to do gifts. We're going to, um, later in January or something, plan a weekend to hang out, um, and just like go have dinner together, go out for a night and just have like a sister weekend, um, instead of buying each other gifts. Cause both of us are stressed. We're both on a budget and we did not want to spend extra money. So we just equally decided we will not do gifts this year. But those are some of my ideas. I hope this is helpful for you. If you are on like a last minute gift hunt, maybe some ideas will help you. I feel like any sort of basket that you fill with things is great. So we've got a basket, we've got the makeup bag, um, the jewelry holder with jewelry. There's kind of a theme here. So um, that's basically my style of gift giving. I like to stuff things in a basket. I've always been that way. All of my college friends always get baskets. One year I did a crock pot and filled the crock pot with stuff. That was for my friend's graduation. Her crock pot mysteriously went missing. So anyways, um, that is everything that I have to show you. I will probably go ahead and put this little baby together and try to insert a photo at the end of this video so you can see how it turned out. But I think almost everything else is sort of an unfinished um, gift. I should get one thing or another or something needs to be finished. So you won't see all of my wrapping in this video. Um, but basically this is what my wrapping paper looks like. It's this color. We're going to do a little red ribbon sort of wrapped around it a few times. We'll add a gift tag and that is going to be it. Nice and simple. I'm using wrapping paper. I already, I already had, cause like I said, your girl's on a budget. <sighs> I'm a gift giver though. And that is what I like to spend my money on is other people. So anyways, enough of this long outro. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you got a good idea or at least just like to see what I got my friends and family for Christmas this year. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Subscribe if you'd like to stick around with me. Um, Vlogmas has been crazy hectic, but it's fun. And I do um, try to upload a lot as much as I can um, throughout other months as well. So with that being said, thank you for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.